Hi YouTube, it's Nicole and I am here to show you my top 10 favorite drugstore products. Um, the f I have a bunch of foundations from the drugstore so most of this video is going to be foundations that I like. So I'm going to start off with the one that has been my current favorite. It is the CoverGirl Nature Luxe Foundation. That's what it looks like. And um, usually I actually really hate CoverGirl foundations. They're very pink. This line is very pink as well, but um, I found that the color 325 Sandstone is a pretty good match for me. Usually I'm the palest of pale. I'm number one, ivory, all of that. But I had to go darker actually to find my color. The lightest one was too pink. So this is the best foundation that um, I've been using right now for a drugstore and it just feels really smooth, it's moisturizing, it's kind of have like a natural finish to it. Um, I usually do more matte finishes but I really like this one and I've been wearing it for the past few months so this is great. My second product I actually use with it. This is best setting powder ever by far. Um, it's the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder, and I have gone through so many containers of these. This is um, Medium 01 Sand, and this is the smoothest powder imaginable. So I set um, the CoverGirl Nature Lux with this. This is an amazing product. The third thing is the concealer that I use. So everything so far has been in my normal face routine. That's what I usually wear on a day-to-day -day basis. And the same with this. This is a Maybelline concealer. And it looks like a lipstick. It's a cover stick concealer. And this is really creamy. I've tried a bunch of concealers from Maybelline and other drugstore brands. But this is the smoothest. And um, it doesn't like pull up my skin when I try to put it on. So that's a plus. Um, and I'm in light beige. My next favorite drugstore product is the NYC Bronzer in Sunny. No surprise, it's a favorite of many YouTubers. But I use this as a contour and just to warm up my face a little bit. Um, this is my favorite bronzer of all time pretty much. I've tried a couple other ones and they've been discontinued but this is the one I just keep going back to. This is the last product in my everyday face routine. Um, so this is the Double Extend Beauty Tubes Mascara by L'Oreal and this is pretty much the only mascara I will ever wear. Um, it's got the one side with the fibers in it and this helps build your lashes. So you put that on first and there are little fiber pieces in that, like the beauty tubes. And then this goes over it. This is the regular mascara part. And the amazing thing about this is when you wash it off, they actually do come off in tubes. You can basically pick them off your lashes. And I like using this instead of regular mascara because if my eyes water or if, um, if it's kind of sweaty out, it doesn't smudge. If something's going to come off, it's going to come off in a little tube and you flick it away. It barely ever comes off, but if you cry or something like that, you're not going to get smudged eyes. It um, also looks really good, despite the whole, like, just take away the beauty tubes fact of it. It looks really good on. Really full, really dark, really voluminous. So, I love this mascara. The next two I'm kind of going to do together because um, they are the same type of product. One is the Smooth Mousse and one is the Matte Mousse, um, both by Maybelline. And I wish that the Smooth Mousse came in a better color range. The reason why I don't use this all the year round, got a text. The reason I don't use this all year round is because of the color selection. The darker colors are just too dark for my skin when I get a tan, and the lighter colors are just too pink for my skin um, when I'm tan. When I am very fair in the winter that I use this, because it's one of the most amazing foundations 
that I've tried. It feels so luxurious on. This is a cream. I'm sure everyone has heard about this by now, but I love it. They also have the matte version, which I think this is pretty matte once you set it with the Dream Matte Powder and it gives you a really natural finish. This is the Dream Matte Mousse. It's fluffier. Um, I like both of them. I go back and forth between which one I like better. I guess it's just on my mood. But both of these are my top two favorite foundations. And if they had a better color range, I'd wear it all year long. So, these are the best. I have another foundation. This is the last one I'll be showing you today. This is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This is the wrong shade for me right now. This was... Um, at the start of the year. I was this color W1. But this range really does have an amazing selection of colors. Um, they have it in the warm, neutral, and cool ranges. And I just was at CVS today and I saw that they have um, a cream compact makeup, kind of like the Smooth Mousse. So I'm going to try that. Hopefully their color selection is better and it feels the same. Um, but this is amazing because the color range is so spectacular and this is the only true liquid foundation that I like. The Nature Luxe foundation is a little bit more creamier feeling which is what I tend to like. Um, but this is the only true liquid that I have ever really liked or has ever really worked for me. So you should give this a shot as well. The next thing I'm going to review is the... That was stupid. Not a review. The next um, thing in my lineup of top fate, top ten favorite drugstore items is um, the Maybelline Eye Studios. Mine is broken, so I'll just take off the top for you. Um, I have it in the green colors, green with envy, and I also draw mine. So the brightest highlight color fell out. But I really do like these, especially when they're wet. Um, I wet my brush and dip them in and then do um, my eyeshadow like that. I haven't tried any of the other colors, but I am interested in doing that. I was thinking maybe picking up one of the purple ones, but this is a really good eyeshadow quad from the drugstore in my opinion. If you guys have tried out any other colors, um, comment down below and let me know which ones that you like. The last drugstore product that I really like is the L'Oreal Bare Natural All Over Mineral Glow. I used to use their powder foundations. They look exactly like this, but it's just a powder foundation. I used to use those and when I was using those, I picked up this at the same time. And this is just a really, really pretty bronzy, nudie pink color. I hope you can see that. Um, here. I don't know if it's going to show up, but it's amazing on your skin. So I love, I use my bronzer regularly and then I will just add a little bit of this over the top and it looks gorgeous. Perfect for the summer. It brings your skin to life. It's called Nude Glow number 432. And um, the pigmentation is not overbearing, it's just perfect, and the particles are really, really finely milled and small, so it's very, very smooth on your skin. So this is my um, last one for my top 10 drugstore makeup items. I hope that you enjoyed the video, and comment down below or leave me a video response on your top 10 or top 5 favorite drugstore products. Um, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye!